Excellent. Well, thank you everyone for joining us today. Uh, this is our first webinar, as Bruce mentioned, and today we're going to be reviewing our low profile LED channel, also known as our LPC. This is a LED new fixture or retrofit product. So a little bit about industrial lighting products. We are headquartered in Sanford, Florida. We have over 100 employees. We are a manufacturer of energy efficient lighting. And we produce over 10,000 fixtures per month out of our Sanford facility. Today we're reviewing the low profile channel. This product is available in 40 watt, 80 watt, and 160 watt LED configurations. As I mentioned earlier, this product is appropriate for both new fixture installation as well as retrofitting. It is configured to be able to easily retrofit onto an existing strip channel, much like we do with our current fluorescent retrofit kits. We have an option to stagger the configuration of the channel cover for cove lighting. We have a full line of occupancy controls and dimming features. At this time, the DLC does not recognize a strip category, so as such, we have nowhere to submit this product to get DLC approval. However, the DLC has told us that we will be having a strip category available to submit under sometime in the first quarter. The 40 watt configuration of the LED strip is estimated L70 at 77,000 hours and delivers 85 lumens per watt. The 80 watt version so a four foot configuration with two boards side by side has an L70 estimated life of 71,000 hours. And this configuration delivers approximately 90 lumens per watt. The standard color temperature for the boards that we stock in Stanford is 5,000 Kelvin. We can also do Custom color temperatures anywhere 3,000, 4,000, and 6,000 at request. So let's review the basic components of our fixture. You can see that we have a low profile channel where the LEDs are mounted to. This is very, very similar to our 4,000 retrofit kit that we use for retrofitting for fluorescence. This product has a ballast cover that's attached to the channel, which allows us to submit the complete product with that ballast cover to ETL as a complete fixture. So we're not actually doing the safety reporting as a retrofit kit. We're actually setting it up as a new fixture. So it can be installed standalone as a new fixture. If a customer wants, we can also install it on a standard strip housing, just like a standard strip that you would normally see if somebody wanted to have the back covered for dust or aesthetic reasons, or if they wanted to surface mount. Additionally, we have a frosted lens kit to go over the top of the LEDs for lower workstation or a more architectural look. It diffuses the light and makes the fixture have a soft glow. So again, this product is appropriate for new fixture installation and for retrofitting. So as we reviewed, the retrofit channel is very similar to our 4000 fluorescent retrofit channel. As you can see here, the product is all made out of aluminum, so it does very good for heat dissipation. We make it in a standard 4.3 inch width, which would be appropriate for installing over a four and a quarter inch standard strip. But we could also do four and a quarter and five inch or a custom width as necessary. All of our LED boards are conformal coated for moisture protection. 
and this product is ETL listed for damp locations. As a new fixture, it can be installed with V-hooks or Y-toggle aircraft cable. The red and black wires that are displayed there are low voltage wires and as such they don't need to be installed in a wire way. All of our new products will be coming out with white wires so that the wires appear less obtrusive. The frosted lens kit installs over the top of the channel. The frosted lens diffuses the light for lower mounting heights, workbench applications, task lighting, or if the product is desired to have a more architectural feel. We estimate 8% light loss for the frosted lens, but we do have the product submitted for full LM79, including IES files for doing lighting layouts and estimation. As we discussed, this product can be installed as a new fixture, but is primarily intended for retrofitting. You would take a strip channel just like we would do with a fluorescent kit and take all of the internal electronics out of it, bringing it just down to where the power is coming into the fixture. The retrofit channel is set up to install over the top of the existing channel and then attach to the side of the channel using zip screws. Because of the enclosure that's already there, your existing strip acts as a wireway and electrical connections can be made inside of there. This is what allows it to be installed as a retrofit over the existing channel, but because of our ballast box, it allows us to submit it as a new fixture. Cove lighting is a very large potential application for this product. There are a lot of coves in existence and LED retrofits for them have been hard to come by. We can make a cover for a stagger strip and use either one single 40 lamp or two 80 watt configuration, so 40 watt and 80 watt. We can also, in the 40 watt application, put a dimmer on the ballast so that it could be brought down to a lower light level. Because of the distribution of the light out of the LED, it distributes light better off the ends than a fluorescent tube. So even with a single strip configuration, you may find that the shadows in between the fixtures are minimized. And again, we can do custom configurations and shapes as requested. So another alternative way of using this is in a master-slave configuration where you have a continuous run of fixtures and you desire to put 40 watts of LED power per 8 foot. A way to minimize the cost and drive ROI for the customer is to create a 40 watt master where you have an 8 foot channel with a 4 foot board in the center of it that has 40 watts of LED power. You put a slave end to end with it and you have one of the 8 foot sections have an 80 watt driver and the other 8 foot section merely has the leads come over to the other driver. By doing this it substantially cuts down the cost. This would be a great way to retrofit a 2 by F32, 1 by F59, uh, T8 or you could even do it in a 4 by F32 depending on what ballast factor the current configuration is running. We also have the ability to install occupancy controls at the factory. Pictured here is a sensor switch SFR5 sensor surface mounted onto the fixture. Behind it, it would all be enclosed and all of those wires would be enclosed to continue its integrity as a new fixture. We can do it in straight on off, we can do it in bi-level dimming, or we can do it in user selectable dimming where we would use the same type of circuitry that we currently use on our cavern. This is where a dimming circuit would be set up with a potentiometer, like a little radio dial, where you could put the, fix, the sensor in test mode and dial the light to a custom level that you wanted it to in the unoccupied mode. Again, this all can be done at the factory so that no wiring in the field is necessary. 
To give you an idea of the energy savings, if you were to use a 40 watt system and you were to mount that up to a 2 by F48 P12, you would get 60% energy savings. Additionally, you can mount it up where you had a 2 by 32 system and get 39% energy savings. The 80 watt in a four footer can be used to replace a two lamp T5HO for 32% energy savings or in a tandem where you have four, a four-foot board on each four-foot section over an eight-foot fixture, you can replace a 4 by F32 at 144 watts and get 44% energy savings. The 160-watt eight-foot system is a great alternative to a 4 by F54 T5HO, giving you a 32% energy savings. Again, this is a long-life product manufactured in the United States, 5,000 Kelvin color temperature is our standard. It has an L70 estimated life over 70,000 hours and produces 85 lumens per watt. This provides a nice energy retrofit for those strip configurations where you have a four foot or eight foot channel that you wish to convert to a more, a more energy efficient and long lasting technology. Thank you very much for joining us today for our webinar. Our next webinar will be in the next month, and it will be covering our new LED high bay. Right now, our 200-watt LED high bay is through safety testing and is submitted to the DLC for listing on the DLC in the high bay category. Our 200-watt product puts out 107 lumens per watt and should lead the market in both efficacy and cost. We also have a 150-watt product that will outproduce a four lamp T5HO at very long life with LED power. We are also developing a 400 watt product for retrofitting 1000 watt metal halides. All of those products should meet their criteria for the DLC and we'll be rolling them out over the next, 12, uh, next two to three months. We should have information on our website about that product and at any time, please contact your ILP inside salesperson for technical information about this and our other new innovative LED products. Thank you again for joining us, and we appreciate you logging in with us today. Bye-bye. All right, everybody. Thank you very much. That concludes our, our webinar. Uh, I just wanted to remind everybody that a copy of this recording will be posted onto our website so you can view this at a later date. Um, and look, we look forward to presenting the next webinar. Look for your invites coming via email uh, sometime soon. Thanks. Have a great day.